So, if you have Time Warner Cable or Xfinity, your internet provider most likely provided you with one of these. And you might be aware, or might not be aware, but you're actually paying an additional 5 to $10 fee just to rent one of these things and have one in your household. When electronic retail stores are selling these for very cheap. Hello, in this video I'm just going to go over how easy and basic it is setting up one of these modems to your household without needing to continue paying for any rent fees. This is kind of going to be an unusual video for my channel. I wasn't expecting to make a tutorial video, but this was so easy and a lot of people I talked to aren't fully aware how simple and easy it is to set one of these up. You don't you do not need to be tech savvy to do this process. Now the modem we will be using for this video is the TP-Link. Link for this modem will be down below. And this also works for Time Warner Cable, so not only Xfinity. But in this video, we're just focusing on Xfinity. So the size comparison between this modem and my old modem is crazy. Uh, it's a lot lighter too, this, new, this newer modem. But big note, my previous modem did have a TOEFL line hooked up into it, but I canceled that and I no longer have it, so this is just a straight up cable internet modem. Now wiring, wiring is really straightforward, you just put your ethernet port to your cable port and then you run that ethernet port directly to a PC. In my case I'm using a desktop, laptop will work as well as long as they're both connected. Now, before we get started on the computer, you do want to check and see if all the lights on your modems are working and are ready for you to go back to your computer. This particular modem, I had to wait 5 minutes. But once I've done that, so once your modem is now all ready, you want to head to your computer. Here, you want to open up your web browser, go on Xfinity, log in with your account information, and then it'll take you to this page. This will be the activation page. and. From here, you might want to uncheck this little box right here to have Xfinity as your home page unless you want Xfinity to be your home page on your web browser. I personally do not, so I made sure I unchecked this. And once you've done that, you pretty much hit continue and Xfinity will pretty much handle everything else on their end. So this part might take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. And you will know when you're done as soon as you get to this page and from here you pretty much want to enter any internet website that you want to go on and you're done. From this point your modem is now connected to the internet. You want to unplug it from your computer and plug that internet port back into your router. Thus any device on that same network will now have internet and you're good to go. Now before I did all this I did do a speed test, a speed comparison to see how this old six year old modem is comparable to a new brand new modem and the speed results are surprisingly the same they're so identical so even though this modem supports up to 600 megabytes per second uh, my internet provider speed is roughly around this speed as you can see in the graph and that's the speed that will continue going unless I upgrade my internet provider or they upgrade their hardware on their end so don't go all crazy all in and gain like a crazy modem that goes 800 megabytes when your internet only support can go up to 100 megabytes. It's a useless upgrade. But what is impressive is the amount of money that I could have saved if I'd done this process five years ago. Which is why I made this video to help save you guys some extra cash with your internet provider. And it's also better to own your own stuff. Alright guys. I hope this video was useful. If it informed you or helped you on setting, uh, setting up the modem process on your household, share it with someone who's not tech savvy and is uncomfortable doing this procedure. Uh, it's really easy to do. You can do it yourself. I highly recommend anybody doing this and watching this video. The step by steps is really basic. Now, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like would be awesome. Subscribing would be even better. And. Good morning, good evening, and good night, whatever side of the world you're watching this, have a good one. <sighs>